having allowed the Imperial Army to invade. The Alliance Army makes their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. The Kingdom Army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. The citizens of Deirdre have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Are you sure about this? If Deirdre were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for... Deirdre won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh, yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape, after all. And for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. I wonder if our little ray of hope will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Grandeur, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Plot! Reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the Kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here, and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Deirdre and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnel, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Claude would risk everything on that belief. He has placed all of his hopes on us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. Here we go. Let's move! The leader of the Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, there's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. I will not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rescue. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. More fighting. Quite helpful. I do this for all of us. I will prevail. I'll cut through. What's my
my strategy. All is going to plan. Your service. Leave it to me. Too slow. Let's see you got this. It is done. With this. I'm impressed. Ready and able. I have made my peace. I'm your girl. My orders? Nuts! Asking me to protect the bridge? That's so much responsibility. But the guy's so helpless, I feel sorry for him. So, I'll do what I can to protect him. The subjugation of Deirdre is complete. We will be joining the main army now. Ah, they're showing up one after another. Nothing for it but to blockade the gate leading to the town. Can't afford to slack off. Another victory. My stage now. Ah! 
Thanks for that. to be. surrounded, but I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. Stay the course. I'll cut you down. Yeah. One to remember. Look at you. Thank you. 
to lose. I admire you. I can't believe they pushed through to here. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Turn the tides. Here is something to believe in. Another victim. This will get him. something clever. Thank you. That was... Thanks! We can't be careless. We'll take it from here. I'm gonna haunt you if I die. Tell 
chance to prevail. Next. Going for the kill. Feels good to fight for a cause. Exemplary work. Winning is what matters. Yeah! I do this for all of us. Turn the tides. Look, the Imperial Army Supply Corps. Attacking now would be a fine plan. Pass my prime? Never. <laughs> Predictable. Won't be in vain. Another victory. Turn the tides. We can't be careless. Ha! I'm your girl. 
Clean up. Sending their numbers. More fighting. Win or die. I must lead them well. You are in my way. All is going to plan. Look. Lead them well. It won't be in vain. Weak. It's over. All is going to plan. Leave it to me. I'll cut through. All right, next. Now you'll learn oh! a necessary sacrifice. Remain cautious. Next. At your service. Let's keep our guard up. Interesting. My orders? Nothing but...
swear it wasn't in vain. Your very presence has foiled our plans yet again. Here is something to believe in! Do our hopes end here? Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia... No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. Nice work. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. And again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting... Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You cross too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But... that ends today. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. The legendary bow fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to lead Fodlin, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Hold your horses there, Teach. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do. Dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. 
You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness.